I am loved and I am worthy and I can do something. So that's what I would love to give to the children, that they are somebody. So you are a great child and you can do something great. So that's what drives me to do this work. Melissa Witzach's church in Hamburg, Germany, runs an after-school program for children. This outreach to migrants is one of many at United Methodist Churches, says retired bishop Rosemary Venner. We were neighbors to the new neighbors, helping them to find a place here and to find their life here. Men, women, and children fleeing wars in their home countries have found open doors at United Methodist Churches. Costin Moore is a pastor. They can tell you unbelievable stories. When the rebels came, they slept on trees to hide themselves, including the grandmother of the family, for the whole night to, ex to escape from the Taliban. Our special responsibility of this congregation is then to work with the children. Especially people from, uh, from Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, from a certain language group, but, but also people from Syria. They said, could we worship with you? We, we just want to, to be part of that life in this community here. Benner led the United Methodist Church in Germany during a time of unprecedented migration in 2015 and 16. That was a, a big surprise for me and for many of our churches. We never did it under the expectation that we will experience a church growth or, or increasing worship attendance. Many came with religious questions. Many came because they got to know Christians. Many people who are now worshiping with us even ask for baptism. Bishop Harald Rueckert says almost all of the nearly 500 United Methodist churches in Germany are involved in outreach with displaced peoples. And the interaction has been overwhelmingly positive. And we started to become more open-minded and to open for all people. And this was kind of a revitalization of our churches. And I hope we can go on on this path and God will open us doors and we can be a blessing for many, many different people. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.